Your Eminence, uh, Senator Menendez, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you first of all to all the organizers for putting together this uh, amazing uh, gathering. I had uh, prepared some remarks, but uh, allow me uh, to briefly speak uh, from the heart, because uh, this indeed was a very uh, important uh, visit, an important visit for me uh, personally, but an important uh, visit uh, for Greece, for Hellenism. It was the first time uh, a Greek Prime Minister had the privilege uh, of addressing a joint session of Congress. <laughs> and it was uh, a unique opportunity for me to speak about the special bonds that connect our two democracies. American democracy tracing uh, its origin back to Athenian democracy, uh, inspired by this uh, unique experiment uh, in history of civilization, when in the fifth century BC, a small group of Greeks decided that self-governance and equality against the law was uh, the proper way to govern their affairs. And of course, uh, the Greek Revolution, which started in 1821, was inspired by the Founding Fathers and by what happened here in America a few decades before. And uh, indeed, against all odds, Greece managed to fight and win its independence, the first nation state uh, to be established in the Balkan Peninsula. And those uh, 201 years since the beginning of the War of Independence were not always easy. They were difficult. But Greece made progress because it was always, like the United States, on the right side of history. And this uh, bicentennial, which we are celebrating today with uh, uh, probably six months of delay, well, it was good because we had 18 months to celebrate. <laughs> what was indeed a momentous uh, event uh, in, uh, in, in Greek history has uh, reminded us of this, of this path and uh, has reminded us that the history of Greece was a succession of great leaps forward, but also of catastrophes which, uh, from which Hellenism has suffered. But uh, overall, uh, the progress has been remarkable and today, Greece is a vibrant democracy with a flourishing economy, a country that has managed to overcome a very painful financial crisis and uh, a country which is again offering hope to its young citizens. Probably the most encouraging thing that is happening in Greece today is the fact that uh, many young people who left the country during the crisis, have decided to return to Greece. <laughs> they, they do so not just because uh, we offer more employment opportunities. Unemployment has been uh, significantly reduced over the past uh, years. Investment uh, has accelerated uh, uh, in, in the country. There are good jobs in Greece, but no one uh, decides to take their family back to the homeland unless they feel confident that the long-term trajectory uh, of the country uh, is moving in a positive direction. And this is exactly, I believe, how Greeks feel about Greece today. We had to address numerous challenges over the past three years since we came into office. We had to um, fight uh, with what was essentially an organized attempt to breach uh, our borders by Turkey when they tried to send tens of thousands of migrants across the Everest border. Then we had to face the global pandemic and of course now we have to deal with uh, the implications uh, of a horrible war which is taking place uh, in Ukraine. But during those three years we never lost our focus and we always remembered the reason why Greeks put their trust in us in the first place. The reason was to, de to deliver growth 
deliver jobs, change the state, reform education, transform Greece from a laggard into a protagonist within the European Union. <laughs> and I believe that we are very well on the way to achieve this goals, these goals. At the same time, Greece is punching above its weight when it comes to its regional presence. I had an opportunity to also discuss with President Biden's, Biden the importance of this bilateral relationship, not just within the context of our strategic cooperation, but also within the context of the new energy architecture in the Eastern Mediterranean. Greece is becoming an entry point for natural gas um, from the region, but also from uh, the United States. We're investing in our energy infrastructure. We are uh, helping Balkan countries to diversify away from Russian gas. And this is only one example uh, of the breadth of the cooperation that we can establish between Greece and the United States. So what I can tell you today is that the future of the country is indeed very promising. We've managed to turn crisis into opportunities and we will remain committed to this course. We will stay this course uh, until the job will be done. And the job will only be done when we will have reached the point to say that we have transformed the country, would have changed the fabric of Greek society and Greece will become the modern state, the modern country that Greeks deserve, that you deserve. <laughs> But uh, tonight is not about me, it's not about Greece, it's about you. It's about honoring the Greek-American community. I was so moved when I spoke today um, in Congress when I looked up at the galleries and saw so many uh, of you feeling proud about my presence. They are feeling proud about Greece. And uh, the purpose of this uh, event is uh, for me to honor 12 very important Greek Americans who have contributed significantly, not just to their home country, the United States, but also uh, to Greece. Uh, it is uh, my great uh, honor to do so today. I was uh, uh, very um, concerned about the fact that uh, we would have left out uh, people which we would need to honor. So what I can tell you is that this is a, going to be a continuous process. <laughs> so do not feel, do not feel offended if you're not honored today. But I think once you hear the people who will be honored, you will recognize that uh, this is something which probably should have taken place a long time ago. So, without um, further uh, delays, let me thank you again for your presence. Let me thank you for your support to Greece. I am happy that you are feeling happy today. It was indeed a special day for Hellenism, a special day for Greece, a special day uh, for Cyprus, a special day for, for all of you. I think you have every reason today uh, to feel as proud as I do. Thank you very much for your presence. Thank you very much for your support. Thank you. Thank you very much for your uh, warm applause. It, uh, it means a lot to me. As someone who first came to the United States when I was 18 years old, to be able uh, to return as Prime Minister, uh, in this position is very, very important to me. So, thank you very much.